नमस्कार वेलकम टू द एपिसोड ऑन डाटा हैंडलिंग स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव लर्न अबाउट डाटा हैंडलिंग इन यूर प्रीवियस क्लासेस लाइक इन सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड एज वेल एज सेवन स्टैंडर्ड वी विल कंटिन्यू टू लर्न अबाउट डाटा हैंडलिंग इन दिस एथ स्टैंडर्ड ऑल्सो लर्निंग अबाउट डाटा हैंडलिंग इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ we can make use of the concept learned in data handling in various situations in our day to day life so today we are going to learn about data handling the objective of this particular episode are draw a bar graph and double bar graph for a given data represent a given data in a pie chart draw conclusion from the given graph you have seen various situations in your life and also certain information such as the temperature of different cities in india on a particular day runs made by batsman in his last 10 matches grades obtained by a student in different subject in the board examination number of covid 19 cases in different states for the last 3 months number of road accidents on a particular day in a year districts which have literacy rate less than national average students where do you see such information yes in newspapers in tv reports in annual reports of various companies or bulletins of government agencies such information collected from various sources are called data this can be in a numeric or non numeric form so how do you define the data data is a collection of observations gathered in numeric or non numeric form such as names of places or names of the objects or any of such kind for providing meaningful information generally a data is collected by an individual or an organization or an institution for a particular purpose for example a teacher wants to know the average marks obtained in his or her subject of teaching in a particular class a customer wants to know about the cost of a particular brand of washing machine in different shops a company wants to know its annual profit or loss during the past 10 years or you collect your own data marks or grade with respect to your progress in different school subjects for the past 5 years these are all the examples for data in all these situations you could see that the data is collected with some purpose the data collected in such manner sometimes also represented through graphical form you have learned in your previous classes how to represent a data in a graphical form let us review some of those graphical representations what type of graph is this yes you are right it is a pictogram A pictograph is a graphical representation using pictures or symbols or icons to convey the meaning of the given data. That is a symbolic representation of information in a systematic manner. When do we use a pictograph? We use a pictograph whenever we wants to make a data. more visual interesting and appealing 
Okay. Look into different pictographs. Is it interesting? Yes. It is very interesting and it convey a lot of information. Now, look into another graphical representation. What type of graph is this? Yes, you are correct. It is a bar graph. Why it is called a bar graph? A bar graph is a graph which represent the given data in the form of rectangular bars either in horizontal or in vertical position. Look at this graph. It is a vertical bar graph. Look at this graph. It is a horizontal bar graph. Students, do you know when we use a bar graph? We use a bar graph when the data is in discrete or categorical form, such as number of students passed out in different years from a school or the number of students coming to school in different modes of transportation. Students, do you know how to draw a bar graph? Okay. Let us take an example. Look into the data given in the table. The average temperature in degree Celsius recorded in six metro cities of India on a particular day is given in table. New Delhi 45 degree Celsius, Mumbai 25 degree Celsius, Kolkata 40 degree Celsius, Chennai 42 degree Celsius, Hyderabad 25 degree Celsius, Bangalore 20 degree Celsius. Now, we want to draw a bar graph of this data. What is the first step in drawing a bar graph? Yes, you have to fix two axes that is x axis and y axis from a same origin. What is the next step? Yes, you have to identify a suitable scale for representation of the data. What could be the scale in this particular case? Here the data is ranging from 20 to 45 degree Celsius. So, we can take the scale as 1 unit is equal to 10 degree Celsius. Once you decide about the scale, we have to represent the data. In which axis we represent the temperature and in which axis we represent the city names. Students, you can represent the data in any one of these axes. But normally, we represent the name of cities on x axis and temperature on y axis. Once you decide about this, then you can label the axis accordingly. That means, y axis the temperature, x axis the name of the cities. Now, you have to draw equal width bars against different cities. Once you draw the equal width bars, then you will get a bar graph like this. For any graph, you need to put a title also. So, the title will be bar graph showing the temperature of different cities of India on a particular day. Yes. 
This is the completion of the bar graph. Students, let me ask certain questions based on the graph. Which city has recorded the highest temperature? Yes, you are correct, New Delhi. Which city has recorded the lowest temperature? Bangalore. The temperature of Mumbai and Hyderabad are the same. Is it not? Yes, you are right. Students, now you know how to draw a bar graph and also how to interpret the graph. Before discussing further, let me give you an activity. You collect the heights of your family members in centimeters and based on the collected data, you draw a bar graph. Can it be possible? Yes, please try. From this activity, can you interpret some of the things? Like, who is the tallest in your family? Who is the shortest in your family? Whose heights are equal? Okay, like this, you can have many interpretations from this collected data. So, we will further learn about one more type of bar graph. Students, look into the data given. The average marks obtained for girls and boys students of age standard in all the six subjects are given in the table. The six subjects are mentioned English, Hindi, Maths, Science, Social Science, Regional Language. And the marks obtained for girls are 70, 60, 95, 90, 60, 70. Marks obtained for boys are 55, 80, 85, 60, 60, 75. Have you gone through the data carefully? Okay. What type of graph you will be making for this particular data? Yes a double bar graph. Why do you choose to draw a double bar graph for this particular data? Here the students of 8th class has been divided into two groups such as one boys and two girls. There are occasions like this the students can be classified into different groups based on their locale like one rural to urban or the students can be classified into different categories based on their socio-economic status like one high income group two middle income group three lower income group. So, whenever the data is classified into subgroups, the bar graph we will be making is of double bar graph. So, when do you use a double bar graph? A double bar graph is drawn when two or more sets of data of subgroups of the same group to be simultaneously represented in a single graph as adjacent bars. Such graphs are called double bar graphs. What is the advantages of using a double bar graph? Yes, in this case you are able to compare the performance of boys and girls. Students, how do you draw a double bar graph? Yes, the similar procedure followed for drawing a bar graph also followed here. But only the difference is you will draw adjacent bars for boys and girls together. 
have you understood good after drawing the double bar graph you will get a graph like this look into the graph yes so the data provided in the table has been converted into a graphical form now let me ask some of the questions from this graph in how many subjects girls are performing better than boys yes in three subjects which are those subjects english mathematics and science which are those subjects in which boys are performing better than girls yes in hindi and regional language you are correct how is the performance of boys and girls in social science yes they are the same very good students let us learn one more graphical representation of data look into these graphs given here what type of graph is this you know what is the shape of this particular graph first one circle second one circle third one again circle so what is the name of such graphs circle graphs yes you are correct or it can also be called pie charts a pie chart or a circle graph represents the relation between whole to its parts so let us learn how to draw a pie chart in order to draw a pie chart we need to understand certain aspects for that look into the figure given here how much is the fraction of circle representing girls in this particular graph yes it is half how much is the fraction of circle representing boys yes again half you are correct yes what is the relationship between boys and girls in this particular graph yes it is half and half making a whole look into this pie chart the pie chart shows the purpose of watching tv by students 50% of students have reported they are watching the tv for entertainment 25% of the students reported that they are watching the tv for sports 15% of the students told they are watching the tv for news 10% of the students reported that they are watching the tv for informative now let us find how much fraction of circle is for entertainment 50% if we consider the whole as 100 then 50 divided by 100 so we get half similarly what is the fraction of circle showing sports it is 25% that is 25 divided by 100 so the fraction of circle is 1 by 4 how much is the fraction of circle showing news it is showing 15% so we get 15 divided by 100 is equal to 3 by 20 how much is the fraction of circle showing informative it is 10% that is 10 divided by 100 so it is 1 by 10th of the circle knowing about this is very much important when you want to draw a pie chart 
drawing a circle graph or pie chart. Students, look into the data given in the table. The favorite flavors of ice creams for the students of your class 8th is as follows. Ice cream flavors percentage of students prefers chocolate 40 percentage, vanilla 30 percentage, strawberry 20 percentage, other flavors 10 percentage, total 100 percentage. Students, what type of graph is more suitable to represent the given data? Is it bar graph? Yes, you can represent the data in a bar graph, but there is a most appropriate graph for representing such data that is called pi graph or pi chart or a circle graph. Let us learn how to represent the data in a pie chart. As you know, a pie chart is a circle graph. So, the center angle of a circle is 360 degree. So, the fraction of sectors will be a part of 360. By knowing this information, we need to convert the given data into the parts of central angle. Let us find out the fractions. Chocolate, it is 40 percent. 40 divided by 100 is equal to 2 by 5. Then fraction of circle will be 2 by 5 of 360. That is equal to 144 degree. For vanilla, it is 30 percent that means 30 divided by 100 that is equal to 3 by 10. 3 by 10 of 360 is equal to 108 degree. For strawberry 20 percent 20 divided by 100 is equal to 1 by 5. 1 by 5 of 360 is equal to 72 degree. For other flavors it is 10 percent 10 divided by 100 is equal to 1 by 10. 1 by 10 of 360 is equal to 36. Okay. Now, you add all the obtained fractions in degrees. Yes, you get 360 degree. This shows that your calculation is correct. Now, we need to represent these degrees as sectors in a circle. So, how do you go about? The first step in drawing a pie chart is draw a circle with an appropriate radius. In this case, let us draw a circle with 5 centimeter as its radius. And represent the radius as O A. Now, for the first sector chocolate, we got a degree of 144. To draw 144 degree in the circle, we need to use our protractor. Keep the protractor on the radius O A and mark the 144 degree in the circle. Join that point with the origin O. So, this part represents the sector of chocolate in the circle. Similarly, you need to represent other sectors also. Here, sectors means the other flavors. Next is vanilla. We have calculated the degree as 108. So, use again your 
protector from the remaining part of the circle you mark 108 degree make a point there and join with the origin this part or this sector shows the vanilla similarly you have to do it for strawberry and other flowers so when you join this degree such as 72 and 36 with the origin you get a complete circle so this is how you represent the choice of flowers of students in a pie chart so we get a pie chart of the student preference for different flavors of ice cream. Students, have you understood how to draw a pie chart? Remember, we need to convert the percentage given into degrees, then only we can mark it on a circle. This is very important. Hope you will be able to draw many pie charts when you get a data of this nature. Students, now you have learned about different graphical representation of data. Do you know the advantages of representing data in graphical form? Yes, the advantages of representing the data in graphical form are 1. It is easy to understand and more interesting. 2. Visual representation is more appealing to students or anyone. 3. It eliminates the language barriers. 4. Even for an illiterate person, when the data is represented in graphical form, he too can understand the data. Now, let us note down one activity for you. You have seen that the central government as well as state governments announces their budget during the month of February or March every year. Have you noticed? Yes. Like that, I am asking you to represent your family budget in an appropriate graphical representation. Let us take your family budget as the following. You have consulted your parents and found out the percentage of money they spend in a month for 1. Grocery, it is 35 percentage. 2. Purchase of clothes, it is 25 percentage. 3. Money spent for electricity bill and gas, it is 20 percentage. Money spent for children's education, it is 10 percentage. And monthly saving by the parents, it is 10 percentage. Students, based on this data, Will you be able to draw a pie chart? Yes, you draw a pie chart and also interpret the graph. Students, in this episode, we have learned about pictograph, bar graph, double bar graph and also pie chart or circle graph. So, this is the summary of what we have learned in this episode. Thank you.